The sky is falling. What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it Superman? No, it's a zip-zooming plane! Teldy is outside watching airplanes when he spots his neighbor Poe. Hello Poe, why is there a pot on your head? Oh, tell thee, the sky is falling. Poe tells tell thee how a coconut fell on his head yesterday. What if the sky falls next? Poe, you don't have to worry about that, tell thee says. Are you sure? A worried Poe asks. Teldi, in fact, isn't so sure, but he knows who they can ask. Ramasami, please, could you help us? Teldi asks. Is the sky falling? Teldi, Po, hello. I can't talk for too long. I'm with the Banana Bonanza. But don't worry. Go to your happy place. It's where it's warmest. Uh oh. Suddenly, the call ends. Warmest. Teldy thinks of a very hot sun and decides to take Poe to a desert. But not just any desert. The biggest desert in the world, the Sahara. Fun fact, the Sahara Desert covers a quarter of Africa. Well, well, well. What brings you here? Heather asks. Haven't you heard? Poe says. The sky is falling. Heather shrugs. Not here. Why don't you go and ask the sky? So Teldy takes Poe to the highest place in the world. Mount Everest. Fun fact. Mount Everest grows four millimeters every year. Poe breathes in the fresh air, but still doesn't feel better. Sven, he asks, is the sky falling? Sven has no idea, but he says, I hear a clever girl lives by the longest river in the world. Maybe she knows the answer. So Teldy and Poe set off again and go to the Nile River. Fun fact, the Nile River flows through 11 countries in Africa. Look, it's Molly. What a nice surprise. We've come a long way to find you, Teldy says. We went to The Sahara, the largest desert in the world. Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. The Nile, the longest river in the world. All because the sky is falling. It's the end of the world, Poe cries. Molly looks at the pot on Poe's head. Mm. Oh, Poe, I know how you feel. Sometimes it seems like the sky is falling when there is a lot of bad news. I get sad and scared too, Molly says. But then I spend time with my friends. It's my happy place.
Happy place. Teldi remembers Ramasamy's advice and turns to Poe. And wraps him in a big, warm hug. Instantly, Poe smiles and feels much, much better. Keep smiling, everyone.